Whether you've heard about the terms KW or KWH, chances are most people probably don't fully understand what they mean. In fact, you probably gave both three seconds of a thought and drew a blank, waiting for us to tell you the rest. No worries, we're here to tell you all about it, coming up. Hi, I'm Teresa with Constellation, where we shed light on practical energy options for businesses and communities across the U.S. Want more energy tips that are great for the whole family? Subscribe to our channel now. Understanding basic energy terms can save you from confusion and stress when looking at your electricity or natural gas bill and put you a step ahead of the average person. Who doesn't want that? Now let's chat about those words KW and KWH and why it's important to you. Understanding energy terminology will save you time and money when making decisions on your home energy needs and the appliances that you use daily. The truth is, Many electricians don't even fully understand the difference between KW and KWH. Ready to teach the handyman a thing or two? Keep on watching. First, KW is short for kilowatt and is a measure of electrical power. One kilowatt is equivalent to a thousand watts of power. So kilo just means a thousand. A thousand watt? Well, just like when it applies to measuring, one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. When it applies to computers, one kilobyte is equal to a thousand bytes. And in this example, one kilowatt is equivalent to a thousand watts. Now, why is this so important to understand? Because kilowatts will help you break down your energy bill. See which appliances are using the most power and where you can save money each month on your bill. First, I'm sure that you've noticed that many of the appliances in your kitchen have a label that shows its watt usage. This label lets you know which appliances in your home use the most energy. This is where it gets tricky, sort of. Most utility providers don't include simply watts in each monthly statement. Instead, they show kilowatts per hour for the last 30 days. So what is KWH? We're glad you asked. KWH is a measure of energy and is often misused or interchanged with KW. Thankfully, converting KW to KWH is quite easy and only requires a simple formula. So it's really not tricky at all. The formula is X watt hours per day divided by a thousand. Once you've figured out KWH for appliances throughout your home, you can multiply them by 30 days. This easily gives you an idea of what energy usage you're racking up each month. Pretty interesting, right? While turning into an expert on power and energy won't happen overnight, we know that just understanding these terms will have an impact on the way that you use your appliances. You are ahead of the game and probably a bit ahead of your handyman too. Now that is a great start. If you're interested in learning more about energy, then give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't miss out on our free energy savings guide. It gives you cutting edge strategies for ways to minimize your energy consumption, leading to more cash in your wallet. Just click on the link to get started. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.